Hello and welcome to my first video in the C Sharp programming video series. Um, this is lesson one of the video series and it deals with the basic Hello World application. I debated covering this for a long time because there's so many videos already available, to, available but I decided to go ahead and do it. That way you understand my terminology throughout the rest of the video series and hopefully I can just provide, you know, maybe a little bit different perspective, but we'll keep things pretty simple. Uh, first off, to compile C sharp code, you can write C sharp code anywhere, um, Notepad, just anything. But you do need a compiler, and in this case, I'm going to be using a uh, C sharp 2008 Express edition to compile my code. Also, have a look at Sharp Develop. Um, a great team of friendly developers there, open source, free, and here, I'll go ahead and show you the interface of both. Uh, that's Express Edition, and this is Sharp Develop. I mean, they're basically the same. You know, you have your toolbox and properties over here in Express, and then over here, toolbox, properties. You know, basically, very similar pieces of software. I prefer to use Express Edition. That's what I'm going to be teaching in these videos, but you can follow along just as easily in Sharp Develop. Okay, I closed my sh start page. That's a habit for me. Okay, so we are going to create, well, I'll, I'll explain, well, I'll explain the layout after we do this. File, new project, Windows Forms application. That's what we'll be creating in most of our tutorials unless otherwise instructed. Name, we'll name it Hello World, of course. Okay. Now here's the basic workflow and something that you're going to be seeing a lot when developing uh, Windows Forms applications. Uh, here's your form designer view. This is where the fun stuff happens. Um, and then you also have code view, which is where the not so fun stuff happens, but the this is the driving force behind your applications. Okay, so I'm staying designer. In the toolbox, we have our controls, which are objects we can add to our form so the user can interact with the form, with the uh, software, and the software can interact with the user. Okay, here we have properties of each control. Right now, there's it's showing the properties of the form because that's all we have, and it's selected. Um, this is the property on the left column. This is the value on the right column. So the text property is set to form one, obviously. Let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to change it just to Hello World. Press Enter. And you can see it changed. Alright, now let's add a button control. This is what you always wanted to do. Just a, a neat little button. And I love buttons. Buttons are great. Um, you can customize controls. Um, C Sharp Express Edition takes care of a lot of junk for you, so be very thankful. Button 1. Now I'm accessing this controls properties. I'm going to change the text value to Hello World. And I debated whether to cover this or not, also, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Design name. Uh, it's a good habit to start using special naming conventions, and I'm going to do so. I start with the three-letter suff suffix of the but of the control itself to describe the control. So button, obviously, and then and then just a description or a name for it. Button hello. So my hello button. Okay. Now, a uh, while ago we got in a while ago we got in code view by pressing view code, which works. But I want to go directly to the code that handles the button click event. So I'm going to double click the button. And we're, if you've never programmed before, this probably looks a little bit scary to you. But just bear with me here. I'm going to hopefully get where you guys can see better. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and type a comment, which is two forward slashes. And then message box display. Uh, the forward slashes tell the compiler to ignore that code, and we are only using it as a comment. Comments are very important in coding, and 
the reason being if you write a piece of software one month and then three months later you need to update it because you find a bug and you go back and there's no comments and your code isn't organized you have no idea well I mean you may if you have a terrific memory but if it's a large piece of software then you have no idea where the code is and you would spend hours upon hours or searching for the uh, correct place to edit your code anyway very important so that's just a simple comment now just you don't really have to understand everything I'm typing right now although it will be fairly intuitive message box so we get the message box object dot show which is a method you don't really need to know about that either just follow along with I'm t with what I'm typing open sees quote hello world okay can you guess what this is going to do message box dot show hello world I'd hope so uh, sorry, this magnifier is giving me trouble. Okay, let's go ahead and run the application by pressing this green arrow and click the button. Uh, what do you know? A message box, hello world. Okay, so you can sort of see how the code, how you can, how you, you see how we link the um, elements of the GUI with the code to just make an all-around great software application. And wow, I messed up talking there. So, okay, talking fail. All right. So you sort of see how we link code with design. Uh, let's go ahead and add, do another example. I'm gonna size my button down because I want to add another control. And I'm going to add a text box. You'll be seeing a lot of these also. I invaluable control. Um, I have a habit of always aligning everything. Okay. Now, again, select this control, and I'm going to change its design name again. Uh, three letter suffix, text, and then input is what I'm going to name it. Now click the button again. Let's go ahead and instead of deleting this whole line of code you can just put two forward slashes and make it a comment and the compiler knows to ignore it. Okay, let's put another comment. Uh, display user input. M message box and what I'm sorry I should explain this. What I'm doing here I'm typing message and IntelliSense, which is an awesome feature of both Express Edition and Sharp Develop, um, offers options instead of t typing the whole thing out. So, message box, go ahead and click that dot. And IntelliSense, once again, guesses that we need the show method. So, we are going to show. Now, this time, no quotes. And remember last time it showed what we put here hello world so we want to show the text that the user puts in the text box so if you remember our text box name which is text input dot text and oh I don't think I mentioned this but this semicolon is very important it tells the compiler that this is the end of our statement and it, it terminates a statement which is very important if you forget this you'll get a lot of errors and well, I mean not a lot but one error for that but it it's very important to remember that after each statement let's go ahead and run the application uh, let's try typing nothing and we get nothing let's try typing hello world and we get hello world so you can sort of see how you link a a uh, nice graphical interface in C Sharp .NET with uh, the driving force, the code, which uh, this code is fairly simple and of course it gets more advanced, but this is basically to show you that some of the code is intuitive and it's not all foreign language. So anyway, this video is very basic and just intended, of course, as a starter. So. We are now going to move on to a video covering the basic syntax and 
just the basics of the C-sharp language. So I hope you enjoyed it, and please tune in for the next one.